Thank you all so much for watching my channel. The following cases are those of persons that are still missing. The first case is that of Donald Lee Isaac Jr. Donald was a student at Frostburg State in Maryland in the spring of 1995. He moved around and lived a rather transient lifestyle after leaving college, first relocating to Baltimore and then traveling to Georgetown afterwards. He visited his mother in Cumberland, Maryland on May 7, 1997. He had phoned her for the final time on May 14. During this conversation, he revealed to her that he was in Santa Monica, California and wanted to return home. He was crying and sounded hysterical during the phone call. He told his mother that he would call her back with information on where she should wire the extra funds for him to return home. He ended the conversation in a hurry. Donald never called back and his mother never heard from him again. The only piece of evidence regarding his travels during 1995 was a traffic citation he had received in Buckeye, Arizona, May the 22nd, 1995. Due to the traffic citation, Donald was ordered to appear in court in June, but he never arrived. He was last heard from in San Francisco, California during July of 1995. Donald's mother reported him missing to Maryland authorities in July of 95. He often associated with people in Key West, Florida and Washington, D.C. There has been no activity on his social security numbers or his accounts since July of 95. Foul play is suspected in his case, which remains open. Donald Lee Isaac Jr. is considered endangered missing. He is a Caucasian male with brown eyes and brown hair. He is 6'2 and 165 pounds. He was 19 years old at the time of his disappearance, making him 42 today. His birthday is November the 5th of 1995. He has a mole on his neck and a scar on his abdomen. He had a tonsillectomy and tubes have been inserted in both of his ears. He had previously fractured his left foot and the injury healed by the time of his disappearance. It is unknown what Donald was wearing the last time he was seen. If you have any information regarding Donald's case, please contact the Maryland State Police Department or the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children listed below. Case number two, Brandon Edward Perdue. Brandon was last seen at Dairy Queen in Medford, Oregon around 6.30 p.m. on June 13, 2008. He called his parents twice that day, indicating he may harm himself. His cell phone pinged off a tower near Lake of the Woods, Oregon around 8 p.m. that night. That was the last sign of him. He has not been seen or heard from since. Brandon may be traveling in a red 1998 Honda Civic two-door coupe with Oregon license plates XVB615. Brandon Edward Perdue is classified as endangered missing. He is a Caucasian male with brown hair and blue eyes. He stands at 6 feet tall and 145 pounds. He was 18 years old at the time of his disappearance, making him 27 today. His date of birth is April the 27th, 1990. He was last seen wearing either a white t-shirt and blue jeans or a blue hooded sweatshirt and sweatpants with flip-flops. He may have been suicidal at the time of his disappearance. If you have any information regarding Brandon's case, please contact the Medford Police Department or the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children listed below. Case number three, Aaron Mitchell Anderson. Aaron was last seen playing in his yard in Pine City, Minnesota at approximately 4.30 p.m. on April the 7th, 1989. He's not been seen since and his case remains unsolved. Aaron Mitchell Anderson is classified as endangered missing. He is a Caucasian male with light brown hair and brown eyes. At the time of his disappearance, he was 2 feet 4 inches tall and 32 pounds. He was 2 years old at the time of his disappearance, making him 30 today. His date of birth is June 23, 1987. He's a small white birthmark on the lower side of his abdomen 
and an enlarged head. He was last seen wearing a red and yellow sweatshirt with a puffy dinosaur on it, light gray corduroy pants lined with red flannel, a gray ski jacket with red tabs, a red knit hat with flaps and snowflakes on it, and a brown snowmobile boots with gray socks and a diaper. If you have any information regarding Aaron's case, please contact the Pine County Sheriff's Department or the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children listed below. Case number four, David Frank Jr. David was last seen at his residence on the 10th block of Everett Street in Boston, Massachusetts on February the 14th of 2006. He was also known to stay at a friend's residence on the 100th block of Brookway Road in Roslindale, Massachusetts. He has never been seen or heard from since and his case remains unsolved. David Frank Jr. is classified as endangered missing. He is an African American male with brown hair and brown eyes. He stands at 5'9 and 170 pounds. He was 33 years old at the time of his disappearance making him 45 today. His date of birth is June 8, 1972. He has pierced ears and was last seen wearing a Tommy Hilfiger brand cream-colored button-up shirt, blue jeans, red and white athletic shoes, and a waist-length black leather jacket, and a watch. If you have any information regarding David's case, please contact the Boston Police Department listed below. Case number five, Brian William Sullivan. Brian was last seen at a Burger King restaurant on Chili Avenue in Gates, New York at 5.48 a.m. on July the 7th, 2007. Investigators found a receipt with a food stamp time of 5.38 a.m. in Brian's car. The red 1995 Pontiac Sunfire was found in front of a 100 acre wooded area on nearby Ledington Avenue. He was last heard from when he left a friend a voicemail at 6.10 a.m. on Sunday, July the 8th. He has not been seen or heard from since and his case remains unsolved. Brian William Sullivan is classified as endangered missing. He is a Caucasian male with black hair and blue eyes. He stands at 5'11 and 170 pounds. He was 19 years old at the time of his disappearance, making him 30 today. His date of birth is December the 5th, 1987. He may use the nickname or aliases Sully, Chuck Briswold, or Charles Briswold. He has long black hair and wears a beard and mustache. He has very thick eyebrows and wears eyeglasses. He was last seen wearing blue jean shirts, a blue pinstripe button down shirt, a green baseball cap, and white flip-flops. The prime suspect in Brian Sullivan's disappearance is Derek Murray. Derek passed away in August 2016 at the age of 49. Investigators believe that Sullivan and Murray knew each other and spent time in southwestern Rochester, New York. Murray did not have an unusually long or violent criminal record, but he did have a history of run-ins with law enforcement. He had been a subject in Sullivan's case since shortly after Sullivan disappeared. The fact had not been made public until Derek Murray's death. Authorities state they think other people in the area know what happened to Brian Sullivan and hope to recover his remains one day. If you have any information regarding the case of Brian Sullivan, please contact the Monroe County Sheriff's Department or the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children listed below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video and I will catch you guys on my next video.